Okay, this is the episode. Big spoilers ahead. Who is yet to watch episode 10? But there was a lot of important stuff in this one, so grab something to eat, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, and let's start the video. We reached climax of the Seven Sisters saga. Last episode, our group saw Michelin Man go down and figured it was Rodden with Malady. They came to help. Rodden and Malady are both beaten up. They started fighting them, and during the battle Damien killed Malady. Joy and Kip came to help due to nurse calling for them. Kai is kind of on the side of sisters. Bradley pulls Joy to water. Kai confronts Bradley underwater and frees Joy while she's drowning. Yokin pushes Kip into water as well. Group agrees to help Joy and Kip not to drown and pull them out the water. Kai and Damien have a civil war out there. Yokin retrieves a devil fruit. And then, Malice comes back. Episode 9 ends and the episode 10 begins. Everything starts off by Malice saying that Damien killed her parents. While she's doing that, our group are sorting things out. Everyone is explaining their point of view until Malice snaps at Damien when he's saying something about justice. She starts to explain that Damien is exactly the one who was on Tarako. How Rustage says 20 years ago. I think it's kind of wrong and it was not 20 years ago but she goes on. Basically, Damien is the Black Knight and he himself confirms it. So my theory was wrong guys, that's sad. Well, he goes even further to say that he built it. And they have that dilemma about who is in the right. Malice is saying that he's a straight up monster who killed hundreds of innocent lives. Damien is saying that he just was executing orders from the King of Kingdom. They have that back and forth about who the soldiers are and the moral values and all that. At the moment, I was understanding both sides. Malice has a point. Since we know the true story behind that incident and royal guards were doing morally correct thing, they were helping Pearl escape corrupt king. But Damien has a point too. He and other marines were just soldiers who had an order. And there is a conception that good soldiers always execute orders. But towards the end of the episode, my opinion kind of shifted. So stay tuned for that. Also, Malice does bring up that Damien looks exactly the same as during the Tarako incident. He was 39 during that. And after that he rebuilt himself and stayed 39 afterwards. Basically, Malice asks to let go of her sisters and she'll give up armor. She does notice Malady dead and Damien eventually takes her gas mask as a proof. He did want to take her whole body but Malady stood her ground that she needs a proper burial. Marines let go of sisters and she says that the armor is in the east wing of Mayor's house. They separate ways. Guys decide to go first to the ship and leave off Rodden there and heal. On the way, Belle takes some pizza and group just sits on the ship and discusses what's next. Kai apologizes both to Bradley for his offending actions and Damien too. They shake hands and everything's good. Yokin brings up that devil fruit and really is wondering how it tastes. Kai finally goes on to talk about his past and explain his relationships with the devil fruits. Also, Bradley's full name is Bradley Briggs, and he runs Naruto style. Kai explains that back in the day when he was a kid, Kai and his grandpa found a weird looking fruit. His grandpa ate it, turned into some creature, killed his grandmother, and was kicked away by the villagers. Another time, he and his cousin Jinpei found one from the ocean while they were on the boat. His cousin ate it, and immediately started weighing like a mountain, and sunk. And that's traumatized Kai, and that's why he hates devil fruits. So, Kai's cousin ate probably Tun Tun no Mi, in the story currently used by Macvies. Or he ate Kilo Kilo no Mi currently used by Miss Valentine. Yokin is really curious about them and takes a little bite of it. It tastes horrible, and she turns into a cat. It turns out this devil fruit is Nako. Nako no Mi model house cat. So, now Yokin is a cat girl. I wonder if she does have nine lives, or when she turns into full animal form, does the cat have to elbow joints as well? But now, Yokin always lands on her feet, so she does not take any fall damage. She has extra slash damage and night vision. Also, she now wants lasagna. Spooky clarifies that when she's in her human form, she constantly has cat ears and tail but she wraps it around her waist. They're thinking about how to deal with Rodden, and they decide to send him back to the plate. Kai goes up to people at the docks and asks someone to stop at the plate for money. 16-year-old kid goes up to Kai and they have really funny conversation about tattoos, about how they both don't know what they tatted. Kai then explains that kid's tattoo says cabbage rules and he responds that he doesn't like cabbage. Well, Kai gives 1 million counterfeit berries to kid to drive Rodden and Rat to the plate. After short rest, 
group goes to the place Malice told them. It's a white house with different colors splattered all over it. Guards are uninterested in Marines and let them in. Mayor Easel is one old man who looks like in his 60s, with white afro and mustache, and paintbrush in his hair. His wife died. He shows them the east wing where the art gallery is and where the armor is located. Damien goes up to the armor and recognizes that it's real deal. And at that moment, door behind them shuts and there is malice. She says that she would not let Damien ever have that armor again, that she was training her whole life for this exact moment. She starts turning, as flames goes out of her, her wings and horns grow, and it turns out she ate Oni Oni no Mi, which turned her into literal demon. The fight begins, Kai shoots her with his Mako spear but misses. Damien breaks glass and goes into the armor. Bradley hides behind some statues. Malice takes out her flame whip and pulls Kai to her, as she's emanating heat. She does same to Yokin as well. Yokin uses her staff and martial art, but it doesn't really work well. And she passes out because of being too close to Malice's fire body. Bradley does some fishman attacks on her. Belle does grab Malice and does some damage to her as well. But she uses the legendary action and takes her giant flaming sword and almost kills Belle. Kai rolls crit and with Mako's spear does whole lot of damage to her while pulling Yokin away from her. Bradley uses medkit on Yokin later. Taiga does try to hurt Malice but does not succeed. Also, Malice does not remember Taiga at all. And it's finally here. The black armor we all waited for so long. Armor starts scanning the surroundings and suddenly it focuses on Taiga. And Damien shoots Taiga with the cannon. It turns out that the armor auto locks on and targets everyone around. So, as I understand, Damien messed up during development of the armor. He probably was striving for perfection. I mean, this is the work of his life, probably. So, he decided that to bring the most efficiency, he optimized armor to kill everything around. And that's why in the beginning of the recap I said that my opinion will change later. That's totally Damien's fault. And it's not the thing that Damien's evil. He's just not have seen things through, I guess. Damien didn't realize how much harm this armor will cause. He did probably kill innocent citizens of Tarako, not only the guards. Damien messed up big time, but he is still sane though. He understands that the armor is not working properly and might cause a lot of troubles. And that's why, I assume, he starts to trigger Malice by talking about how he killed her sister. Which is by the way, Malady was the real sister of Malice out of all other sisters. So, Malice snaps and goes right at Damien at her full power, using her giant sword. Armor takes 60 damage and still good. Armor does not take fire damage, but rather absorbs it and powers up from it. Damien starts to lose sanity from it though. Malice realizes how monstrous black armor is, how her lifelong training does not seem to be enough, and is heartbroken by it. The end of the episode, to be continued.